Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Angela, and um, I am back to do my weekly um, uh, I just lost my train of thought. My weekly uh, card, uh, three card draw uh, to see how the week's going to go. Again, um, I'm using the Light Sears Tarot for my weekly spreads. Um, I have already drawn the cards. Um, I did not look at the book. Um, I don't really pay attention to the books because they seem to get in the way a lot. Um, but I did the energy obstacle and advice for the week. <laughs> I'm outside. Um, it's the only place I can really get some peace. Um, I have two dogs. I have two kids. I have a husband. They're all in the house. <laughs> Um, it is Father's Day, um, so I did make my husband a nice, uh, dinner for Father's Day. Um, everything's been cleaned up, and now I'm just relaxing, making videos, so, um, we're just gonna get right into it. So, the first one I pulled for the energy was the Nine of Swords, and, um, I've actually been doing a lot of readings uh, the last couple weeks, and again, I'm still pulling this card a lot. Um, I started doing readings um, during the heat of uh, the lockdown um, for the virus, and I was getting this card a lot and uh, for other people, and before I was getting it a lot for myself, and I just feel like... Um, this is still the state our country, our world is in right now where there's this turmoil, there's this self-torture, um, um, and pulling this for me is like, um, typical because, um, there's a lot of self-doubt there, there's a lot of, um, uh, negativity that can come with um, me trying to better myself and do all these things that I was trained from birth you can't do you you can't do it you'll never make it you'll never do this you'll never do that so I carry a lot of those demons around um, a lot of the time um, so I'm not surprised at all when I whenever I pull this card for myself um, this card is typically about nightmares and dreams and keeping you up, what's keeping you up at night. And I had a really in-depth conversation with my sister-in-law yesterday just about life and things. And it was very deep. <clears throat> and um, it's kind of confirmation of the conversation we were having that I would pull this card as the energy of the upcoming week. Um, I do want to point out, especially with this card, there are a lot of dark black crows around. Um, it seems like they're hovering like a black cloud, um, hovering over her, uh, keeping her at this level of just self-doubt and self-contentment or self, yeah, con contentment, contentment, yeah, that's the word I'm looking for, uh, contempt, contentment, yeah. Um, but I do want to point out that there is a white raven or white dove. Um, it almost seems like it's in spirit form to me. Um, where there's, yes, there's this dark cloud, but there's there's hope in the corner. There's hope there. Um, if you could just see past the darkness um, to see the light, um, see the that there is hope for a better tomorrow. Um, and that is what I see um, as the energy um, that I need to continue to try and think positive and stop thinking so negativity all, negatively all the time. So that was the energy of the week, the obstacle for the week. And this kind of threw me because it's the page of wands. And to me, one of the happiest looking cards in this deck. But the first time uh, when I pulled it, I immediately thought, um, <clears throat> dance to the beat of your own drummer. Um, and that is something that is very hard for me to do. Um, and this being an obstacle, 
a negative sort of way, I, it kind of threw me because I'm like, this is one of the most positive cards. How could I think of it in a non-positive way? And so when I heard Dance to the Beat of Your Own Drummer, um, I totally understood it because I don't dance to the beat of my own drummer. I'm always worried about what other people are thinking. I'm always concerned with how do I appear or how do I look. And yes, that seems very materialistic in a way, but considering that my entire life I was judged by the one person that shouldn't judge you, my mother, um, that's kind of ingrained in me, always seeking out um, approval. And um, it's something I've been working on this year a lot um, that I know I have a lot to give and a lot to, a lot of wisdom to pass on. Um, and a lot of things I want to do. And every time I start telling anybody about how I am doing this spiritual cleansing, if you will, this awakening, this just revamping of my entire soul, um, people look at you like, what? And then um, adding to the factor that you, you tell them you read tarot now or that... Um, you've had these paranormal experiences that were life-changing. Um, they look at you like they just kind of phase out, like they stop listening to you. And so I totally get that that would be an obstacle for me is dance to the beat of my own drummer. Stop concerning yourself with what others think and just be you. Do you. Um, because what you do will eventually shine through and people will start getting it. They will start understanding. They will start um, attracting to you. You will start attracting to you the, the kind of people that you need surrounding you. Um, so yeah, totally makes sense. Um, and then the advice for the week is the happiest card in the deck, the sun. Um, and again, she looks like she's dancing to the beat of her own drum. She's um, being pulled by this cosmic energy, the universe is, is behind you. So why are you concerning yourself with what others think of you or what you're doing with yourself or with your life? Don't concern yourself because the universe has your back. The universe is, you're, you're part of this cosmic oneness that can't ever be broken. Um, so do you laugh, joy, have fun for you. Um, and that's what I get out of this iron card. Now I'm going to take a look at the book. <clears throat> and we got, oh, I got them backwards. Here, the Nine of Swords. So let's see. And since this is kind of the energy of the week, I'm going to read both the night, the light seer side and the shadow seer side. Um, the light seer, the, uni uh, the universe is gifting you your desire, choosing joy, man manifested dreams, gratitude, abundance. Shadow seer side, delayed gratification, unfulfilled desires, unmanifested dreams, greed blocking your path, not appreciating the simple things in life, smugness. This is a card of abundance and happiness and is often fittingly called the wish card. Oh, I mean the nine of cups. I'm sorry. Totally, like, none of that made sense. <laughs> <coughs> I was reading the nine of cups. Okay. But now we know the nine of cups is the wish card. Nine of swords, lights to your side, nightmares, worry, feelings of depression or anxiety, insomnia, fear, an opportunity to find courage courage a time to focus on safely safety and the things that are going well in your life shatter seer side paranoia deeply anchored fears inability to think clearly inner turmoil negative self-talk affecting self-esteem big one an opportunity to actively begin the healing journey what's keeping you up at night sweet seer this card suggests a time in your life when negative thoughts are gaining momentum and when you may find yourself expanding too much energy, worrying about the future. Perception is everything, so don't allow negative self-talk to trip you up. It's just kind of getting a shiver. But I was kind of dead on with that point. If a pessimistic mindset spirals wildly out of control, it can lead up to anxiety, stress, or depression, even when your thoughts carry no truth. 
Are you imagining the worst instead of activating the best? Wow. Flip your perspective and send nurturing, loving thoughts to your situation to overcome any disturbing thoughts. Look to the light in your situation and notice that even the tiniest window of brightness can keep fear at bay. Use your light to expose the illusions and allow worries to dissipate and soften as your bad dreams are illuminated for what they really are. I see my fears as the illusions that they are. Wow. That last little quote just summed it all up. I see my fears as the illusions that they are. They're only illusions. Wow. Kind of gave me a little goosebumps feels there. Okay, Page of Wands. Why can't I find the wands? I go far back it up. Okay. And since this is a obstacle, I'm gonna read the nugget this the the shadow seer side. Limiting beliefs, creator angst, a need to direct your energy, feeling eager to start something new but confronted by obstacles, hot-headedness, being rebellious. This page is a free spirit who carries infectious enthusiasm with her. Delight in her youthful, raw, and exuberant creative energy and pay attention to the new ideas that are bubbling to the surface at this time. You will find flashes of inspiration here. Inspiration that comes bundled with massive potential. If you are feeling the creator angst of not having any solid plans to bring these insights to life, let go of your need to formalize your plans. They need to right now. Giving your ideas the space they need to develop before sharing them prematurely will allow their wings to fully form. Their potency is limitless. Let them breathe. Spend an extra time in the pursuit of the imagination, and if you are feeling any lack of ambition or drive, or feeling devoid of the inspiration that this card illuminates, Know that you will find this fire when you allow yourself to dream. Wow. And then the quote at the bottom says, As the dreamer of my dream, I spontaneously and passionately ignite the flame. Wow. Wow. And then we have the sun as the advice. I'm going to read this light seer side. It's joy, inspirational, success, abundance, and fulfillment, exuberant, creativity, positivity, love, manifesting dreams. And again, we have the manifesting dreams and the creativity. There's a theme here. Um, and success. Those three words, those words were in pretty much all of them. Inner beauty, a yes card. The sun breathes life into everything he touches. Radiating brightly, he creates a path of love and harmonic abundance. This is a card of joyful celebration and a vibrant sign of positivity and success. Expect to find bliss and be ready to take inspired action based on radical positivity and generosity. Allow others to bask in the warm glow of your beaming heart and your inspired mind. People will feel drawn to you when the sun card arrives. Um, hello, charisma. Live it up. This card is a reassuring sign that things are unfolding beautifully. You are perfect, whole, and loved by the cosmos. And it may be time to deal with any feelings of inadequacy or not enoughness in order to find your shiny confidence. The sun is on its way to illuminate the corners of your heart and to set your world ablaze with opportunity and inspiration. Wow. And then the quote at the bottom says, I am whole. I am more than enough. I shine like the sun when I am happy. Wow. Whew. So that is the draw of the three card pull for the week. Um, that was great. Um, yeah, I got goosebumps uh, on that. Um, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please give me, a, please subscribe and um, hit that notification button so you're not um, missing out on any other videos. And you guys have a great day. Bye.